Hello everyone and this is a little bit of a special here for you guys, lovely Kate's uh, nature garden at the Chelsea Flower Show which is being exhibited and um, I've still got this croaky throat so you will have to bear with me uh, with, with my croaky throat, I hope it's going to go in a few days but this is a little special treat for you guys. Uh, this garden has not been open to the public yet, so we've got a little bit of a sneak peek here uh, to um, to show you. Okay, now these pi pictures were taken by photographer Matt uh, Porteous here, and um, these photographs and images here show show uh, this garden of of Kate's. Um, and and, and the, the children they've been involved every step of the way and uh, Duchess was excited for them to see the finished result um, both her children and other children were involved okay so uh, George 5, Charlotte 4 Louis uh, 1 would have been in familiar territory for not only did Kate use their time playing outdoors as, as an inspiration for this project which will be open to the public on Tuesday tomorrow but the children were actively involved in collecting twigs, logs and moss from around um, Am Amna Hall uh, in the Norfolk home so that's where the uh, inspiration came from for this uh, for this nature nature garden okay so um, in the pictures taken here and released by Kensington Palace the family could be seen sitting next to camp a campfire and a den a toddler Louis looked fascinated as he held a stone while Kate kneeling at his side wrapped her arm around her youngest child. The RHS Back to Nature Garden designed by Kate with landscape architect Andrea Davis and Adam White is a woodland setting for families and communities to connect with nature. Kate's garden aims to highlight the benefits the natural world brings to mental and physical well-being. Kate has made early years intervention one of the cornerstones of her work after seeing how so many problems faced by adults she has met such as mental health issues addiction and social exclusion stem from their childhood she and her co-designers were keen to recreate memories such as wild bluebells from her childhood and she also incorporated as a nod to diana uh, forget-me-nots in, in the garden too, okay. In an interview with um, with uh, Monty Don, um, Kate says, I really feel that nature and being interactive outdoors it has huge benefits on our physical and mental well-being, particularly for young children. I really hope that this woodland that we have created inspires families, kids and communities to get outside, enjoy nature and the outdoors. And how simple is that guys? It's just simplicity isn't it? Getting back to nature. And she goes on to say and spends quality time together as a family it is understood Kate, who wore a colourful patterned dress and wedges for the outing, 
wanted to show her children the finished project on Sunday, so this was yesterday, so they could see what she has been spending time working on. Kate has pre previously said she has fond memories of being outdoors as a child and is pass passing that passion on to her children. Well, I have to say, I actually also had that kind of childhood where my parents uh, uh, thought it important that we uh, appreciated nature and the outdoors. So I can, I can appreciate that completely and getting out in the fresh air. The Duchess has been at the this, this site almost every day in the, in the five days leading up to the opening of the event and has, has been closely involved in the project from the beginning. Kate's involvement with the 2019 RHS Garden at Chelsea Flower Shop Show was first revealed earlier in the year. Well, I've got some amazing footage here, guys, of of uh, of Kate and the family. Okay, um, all enjoying the garden. So this is from this is the this article is from the Daily Mail by Charlotte Wace uh, from the Daily Mail, and it goes on to say. Queen of the Swingers, playful Kate poses in the back uh, back to nature garden on um, garden she designed herself for the Chelsea Flower Show and features a touching floral tribute to Princess Diana, which is the uh, lovely um, forget me not it's okay. The giggling Duchess of Cambridge recaptures her tomboy childhood as she plays. On a rope swing, uh, uh, swing from from a tree. Okay, in the garden she designed for Chelsea Flower Show. The delightful picture was taken by by a palace aide last week, as Kate took a play, playful break from putting finishing touches on the garden before the world famous show opens on Tuesday which is tomorrow. Her plot uh, her plots back to nature theme is intended. Okay guys I hope you enjoyed that a little bit of a special there of uh, Kate's lovely uh, Chelsea uh, garden there um, which uh, is, is exhibited at the Chelsea flower show in Chelsea. So I hope uh, this is uh, a little bit of a sneak peek because it's not open to, to the public until the 21st uh, when I feel that the Queen is going to open uh, the uh, Chelsea Flower Show and will be in attendance on, on Tuesday. So um, the Chelsea Flower Show is very, uh, very uh, popular with the Royal Family. All of the royal family will go and visit this uh, beautiful garden that Kate has created, uh, co-created, should I say. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Really cute to see the the you know uh, the children, um, the Charlotte, George, and Louis are running around and enjoying uh, the outdoors there. Uh, of uh, what they used to because it's what they do at uh, Amna Hall uh, so it's the kind of familiar to them so I hope you enjoyed it please put your comments down below and uh, share your comments and uh, I will see you soon and uh, bye for now have a great day bye bye mm -hmm.